Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just want to do a quick get ready with me using drugstore affordable products. These are products that I really do enjoy. There's a couple of new things that I have that I haven't tried before. One of them is the Catrice Blush Affair. It's a cream and powder duo. I already put this on because I feel like I, I like it better when I put my primer on a few minutes a couple of minutes before I start doing my makeup so I did put this on already this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Smoothing Primer so that is on this is a new shade from Hard Candy this is a lip oil and I'm just going to use it over a lip liner uh, this is a little palette from Hard Candy that I want to use and then the concealer that I'm going to use I don't think this is new but it's new to me it's a Revlon Flex Wear Full Coverage Concealer so I just want to create a look and I'm also I put it on already I'm using the NYX professional makeup powder louder brow pencil and mine is in the shade espresso and I told you guys about this before um, so I've used it a few times I really like it I enjoy it a lot so the foundation that I'm going to be using is the number seven lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation has an SPF of 15 and I already have my skincare and my SPF on I have like especially on this side it almost feels like I have like a burn and it's not from any new products I haven't used anything but I don't know I don't know I ate some chips with jalapeno it was a jalapeno chip so maybe that's what's um burned my lip even though they didn't feel that hot I don't know you know the older you get the more fragile you become so I'm going to start with my foundation this is a really really nice foundation especially for mature skin I think it's very mature skin friendly I'm going to use this brush right here this is from this is a cream and powder face from brush from elf and I like the elf uh, face brushes I'm not that crazy about their eye brushes, but I think their face brushes are really, really nice. So what is new with you guys? There's nothing new with me. Um, I'm going to give you a little personal update. I did uh, that video, it was a few videos back. I'll link it below about getting off my um, Lexapro. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to have to go back on it. I have been feeling so anxious and overwhelmed I really don't want to go back on it but not because I think there's anything wrong okay with being on medication if we need it we need it but I was hoping that I would be able to go back to the way I was before I needed it I'm gonna grab a little more that I had on my on my the back of my hand and just be able to deal with life <laughs> without medication. I'm, I'm going to pour just a little more on the back of my hand. Um, but I've been, sometimes I can't even stand being around myself. That's bad. But I've been very moody and emotional. I don't like being emotional for no reason. Or for the silliest reasons, you know. So, I don't know guys. Um. I have to start by finding a new doctor. I still haven't done that. <sighs> Life is just overwhelming sometimes. But anyway, let's talk about happy thoughts. I see. What are happy thoughts? My one-year-old granddaughter. She's so cute. She, uh, she's walking now. Not, you know, like long walks, but she takes several steps at a time that little girl eats anything oh my goodness let me tell you she has she has a very good appetite it's still showing quite a bit of my hyperpigmentation there i don't know if i want to keep building it but this is more like a a medium and it is a serum foundation so it's more like a medium coverage foundation that's a little better but I do like it. It does wear a long time. Um, fades nicely. And um, it's like it's like a satin finish. I wouldn't say that it's super glowy. 
but it's definitely not matte. Okay, so we are going to use a little bit of the Catrice Under Eye Brightener. And this is a new one that I just received in their, in their advent calendar. I decided to keep this one and the other one I have for a couple of years. Get rid of that. This is a really good under eye brightener and it's very hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, this will be really good for you. And my under eyes have been a little dry lately, especially my left one. So anything that I can do to add a little more moisture, I'm here for it. And if it helps me hide my dark circles, I'm here for it twice as much. Today is a gloomy day. I don't even know how hot or cold it is outside. I know it's not cold. But lately it's been like in the 80s. So it's been a little more comfortable than usual. And it's been like a little breeze. So I take that. That's a Florida fall. <laughs> fall day so I'll take that I'm not complaining there's really nothing else new um, I started a little bit of my Christmas shopping I don't want to leave it all for the last minute I mentioned to you guys before that usually like right after Thanksgiving my husband and I have a timeshare at the beach Reddington Beach this is a uh, Zueva concealer perfector brush and um, this year, we drove by yesterday by the beaches. It's so sad. Oh my gosh, it's destroyed. It is so, so sad. There were so many of those hotels, motels, the places that have um, timeshares that are closed down. Ours is destroyed. It's going to take a long, long time for them to be able to reopen so they are managed by a bigger company and what the company is trying to do is offer the people that have timeshare there um, offer them time at another location may not be the same week that we have but we have like a year that we can use our voucher we have to pay a little bit of money it's not totally free but, you know, a lot less than if we were going to rent a week anywhere. So, I told my husband I'm all for it. I feel like I need to get away. I just came back from vacation. But I feel like I need to get away. For some reason, I am so anxious, stressed out. I don't know. I'm going to use the Rimmel Powder. This is in 011 Creamy Natural. To send my under eyes. This is a really nice powder to send your eye under eyes. It's very thin. And it does a really good job. Alright, so I'm going to take a bigger brush. And use a little more of that powder to set the rest of my face. Just a little bit. This powder is really finely milled. And you actually don't pick up a lot on the brush. And it's only like $4. $4 or $5. It used to be like $3.99. It's probably gone up in price now, but it's still very affordable. Rimmel is a very affordable brand. All right, so for um, bronzer, I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Heat Wave. It's a luminous bronzer. This is really, really pretty. It's like a baked bronzer. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. But when they say luminous, I don't feel like it's that luminous. I'm going to use the one that I use for the powder because it's like a little pointy. Then if I need more powder, I have another brush. But this one is like really pretty. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to go away before the end of the year. I may, you know, convince my husband to go to St. Augustine for, you know, a few days. I love St. Augustine during Christmas. It's so beautiful. They light it all up and it's all, the all St. Augustine is, it's just absolutely gorgeous how they do it during the holidays. And it's usually like right around Thanksgiving. Well, who knows? It may be decorated already. I can't believe Christmas stuff is out already. But it's really pretty. I love that. It's one of my favorite places to go to. You know, we may go there. I don't know. We have to wait till we hear from this place if we can 
they, we can get a week before the end of the year as long as it's not the week of Thanksgiving or Christmas then I like to do that but um, they did tell us that we have a year to use our voucher whenever we get it so this is in the shade peach passion and I'm gonna use this brush right here and let me see this is the cream and this is the powder and I know I already have a little bit of powder on my face but I do it like that all the time I put powder on first since I don't powder a lot and I usually I find that if I put a little bit of powder beneath my cream it doesn't lift my foundation so that's pretty so I like to do it like that Patrick Tell uses his um, powder first in his duos he uses the powder first and then and then he uh, uses the cream over it so if it works for him so I have purchased the new Mario I think it's called, it's called Moonlight palette and I, I had not opened it I kept it in the box because for some reason, I kept going back and forth whether I wanted to keep it or not. It's a very pricey palette. Um, I used the other one, the one that he released last year. But it's something I don't use all the time because it doesn't matter how I use it. I end up having a lot of fallout. So I'm going to use a little bit of the powder now. Just a little bit to set it. So, um... Anyway, I kept it in the box. I ended up returning it. But I didn't want to open it because I didn't want Sephora to have to throw it away just because I ordered the palette. So I took it back so that they could see that it had not been, you know, tampered with. And I returned it. And I have no regrets. I have the palette from Dalton that has all those shades. There's no glitter. It's an absolutely beautiful pa palette. If you guys want me to create a look with it and show you, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do that. Yeah, I'm going to use the Essence Nude Highlighter. I haven't used this in a long time. But this is such a good highlighter. And of course, I didn't bring a highlighter brush with me. So I'm going to use the one that I use for the powder under my eyes. This is the kind of highlighter that is very, very subtle. It's the kind that I like. And it just melts into your skin. And this highlighter has been around forever forever and ever yes and I have no I'm not tempted to get the new Huda one this is just the same brush that I use for the blush I just want to go over it yeah I'm not tempted to get that one the more I see people reviewing it it has a lot of glitters and I'm, I'm really over glitters so I'm gonna use this little palette right here this is so cute this is only like three or four dollars but I love little palettes like this for, again, when you travel, they're so convenient. They have different color stories, but I thought this was very pretty. Oh, I stuck my finger in it. Nice and tiny, but it's a little, it's, the um, packaging is actually, feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's going to break right away. It feels very, very substantial. So I'm going to use the medium shade, this one right here. I'm going to use this one in my crease, this one in, under my brow bone. And then this one, the outer, and this one is in the, in my lid, on my lid. But anyways, uh, I just thought, you know, this was a, it has a nice little neutral color story. It's a little powdery in the pan, but, and it looks lighter on my skin than I thought it would. But it's okay, let's see what the, let's, let's just trust the, process and see how it turns out let's see I have points and I still have quite a few points with um, Ulta which I'm trying to use for some Christmas gifts but I did order the Natasha Denona palette with it I already received it um, I actually think it, when I started pe seeing people reviewing it I think it looked prettier than what I thought it was gonna be I'm going to take this brush right here which is kind of flat and go into the lighter oh, it looks like a rose gold 
well doesn't seem to be doing much let's let's get some product on it and wet it I'm gonna wet it with uh, I don't feel like using my finger today this is so the spray is so it's like a mist that I feel like I had to do it several times before it actually got on the brush that is a pretty color it's almost like a rose gold very pretty this is for a nice for a quick look that you don't even have to think about what you want to use on your eyes you're very limited <laughs> which sometimes is nice I like to have little palettes like that that require no thinking on my part that's very very pretty I'm going to use like the edge of the brush just to go around the crease I'm going to take a smaller brush, this one right here, and go into the lighter color. I actually think that's, that has shimmer also. I didn't think it did, but it does. That is pretty. So I'm not going to put that on the brow bone. I'm going to leave the brow bone the way it is. With When I use a, a sh eyeshadow primer that kind of cancels out my... You know, the, the redness of my brows, of my brows, no, of my lid, then I really don't need anything on my brow bone because as long as it's not dark, I'm okay with that. This is very pretty. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to take a slanted brush and I'm going to go into the darker shade right here. Stamping it on, and then I blend it a little bit. I'm going to take the first brush that I used. Right, I'm going to take this pencil from this crayon from um, this is ColourPop. It's in the shade Walnut Avenue, and it is a matte pencil. And I'm going to take a little brush and just merge it in. I'm going to take a little bit of it, put it out here, and then just kind of blend it. Because that brown that was on the palette is really not very dark. That did a good job of blending. I missed. That's awesome. Ah, put a little bit of concealer there when I'm done. All right, let me put a little bit of concealer where um, I kind of like missed right here. Okay, I'm going to take the brush that I did the blending with and just blend a little bit out here so that it's going to look, that line doesn't look so harsh. Where is my slanted brush? Here we go. So did you guys start your Christmas shopping yet? Tell you the truth, I like Christmas. Um, I like it for the kids. You know, I like the real meaning of Christmas, of course. You know, all that brings joy to my heart. But all the shopping, all the gifting, all the trying to figure out what everybody does or what everybody should get or what, what I want to get everybody, that is so stressful to me. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving because that's when you really stop and think about all your blessings and um, you know you spend time with the family and hopefully it's stress free and yeah I like that Christmas is beautiful like I said the true meaning of Christmas this is Morphe the Morphe what is it called brow tease 
you know, it's, it's wonderful, but um, it's just a stressful time to me. You know, the stores, I do 90% of my shopping, I would say online anyway. But the stores are super busy. I love the holiday. I don't love the commercial, commer, commercial, commercialist. Okay, you know what I mean. How commercial it has become, how, you know, I don't know. I think that sometimes the true meaning of Christmas is kind of lost behind everything else and I don't enjoy that. The older I get, the simpler I want my life to be. You know, the less, I'm going to use the Essence Volume Booster Primer. Just because I haven't used it in a long time. But anyways, uh, what is your favorite holiday? Do you prefer Christmas to Thanksgiving or... Is there another holiday that's even more, you know, more your favorite than either one of those? And I, I don't like the fact that, you know, like the beginning of October, the end of September, there's already Christmas stuff out at the stores. It's like it's so rushed and so, I don't know. I know some people like that, but I I just don't. I like to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving before anything else. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I haven't used this in a long time. And this is such a good mascara. It gives you really pretty lashes. This little palette is very pretty, by the way. I'm going to finish my mascara and I'll be right back. Alrighty. So this is after two coats, which I think is very, very pretty. I like this. I like this. So I'm going to use a little bit of this um, NYX. This is a mineral matte finishing powder. I'm going to just grab a little bit on the lid. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just really distribute it really, really well on the brush and I just want to put a little bit set all over my face to keep it from getting oily even though when the temperature now that is changing I really don't get and it's only the t-zone that gets just a little bit oily but I think that my makeup lasts a little longer if I set it with a little bit of powder that covered that retinas pretty much a lot. It feels like a burn. And uh, I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to spray the setting spray on it. And just go over, go over my entire face. I'm going to go a little bit under my under eyes. And then just the rest of my face. Alright. I love the sponge because it doesn't grab a lot. All right, now for lips. I'm going to use this lip liner. This is from Maybelline. Color Sensational in the shade 115 Totally Toffee. This is such a pretty shade. My lips look a little dry today, but that's because I didn't put any balm on it this morning. I'm going to fill my lips. Okay, so again, this was Maybelline Color Sensational, Totally Toffee. And then this is a hard candy. It's called the Glostopia Lips Light Creamy Lip Oil. And this is in the shade Espresso. I guess I was in a coffee mood today, right? Actually, I'm in the mood right now for an espresso. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells like an espresso. It feels good on my lips because, like I said, my lips, I didn't put any, um, any balm on this morning. And 
Wow, that felt a little dry, but this feels good. A lot of people like to kind of like, like cancel out their Cupid's bow. I don't. I like to have a little bit. I have to have, I like to have a little bit of a Cupid's bow on my lips. Let me know. Do you like to cancel them out? Like kind of go over the Cupid's bow to make your lips look fuller? Or do you rather keep a little bit of the Cupid's bow? I guess I've always done it like this. So, you know, as they say, you can't teach an old dog a new trick. So anyway, this is a completed look. I think this is very pretty. This is nice. Um, is it super pigmented? No, but I think I did a really nice job. I think this is something that I would like to put in my little makeup bag that I take in my purse with me. And sometimes I leave in a hurry with my husband if something comes up really quick and we have to leave and I don't have time to, you know, do much of anything. And I usually have like, I carry like a concealer, um, a powder foundation, a miniature uh, blush, a mascara, and lipstick. And then this would be a good one if I wanted to do something extra on my eyes. But not really. I can just go without it. But if you wanted to, it's tiny enough that you can fit it in there. It's really, really nice. This is a beautiful bronzer. If you never tried it before, I think it's subtle. I, don't, I think it's one of those bronzers that is hard to overdo it. And it looks pretty and it blends really nice. So I really do enjoy it. There, This was really, really nice. It applied, applied very nicely and it looks nice on the skin. I've heard some of their older lip oil taste really nasty. They taste very chemical. This doesn't really have a taste, but it smells like coffee. It smells amazing. Definitely. Two thumbs up. Three thumbs up. <laughs> it's really, really good. The rest of the makeup is stuff that I owned already, so I really do like it. These are amazing. So I will link everything below my pores. Um, this side looks a little more blur than this side. Maybe I apply more on one side than the other. But it looks okay. It did blur them out a little bit. But I think it looks nice. So I will link everything below. Uh, just say hi or put a little heart so that I know you're there. If you don't feel like just chatting in the comments. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. I really do appreciate the time that you take from your day to spend it watching my videos. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.